Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for. I've made some great progress thanks to the guys at, at York University. I said to them, just send me a file that has the communication between your NABU, the NPC, and the network adapter, the NA. So I didn't get the whole thing, but I did get you know the header of, of the segment that's being sent. And I noticed something that in the header, it starts with a segment ID. And I thought that's kind of interesting because according to the header file that they gave me before, the first two bytes is the packet length. So I thought, okay, that's interesting that they're not sending the packet length. So it occurred to me, I think we're not supposed to send the packet length, which kind of makes sense because what happens is when we send the file, um, there's two modes. You have your communication mode, which is by native when it first boots up, that's what you get and by default. And then what happens is you can specify a E4 and then an authorization code of 91 and then the NABU PC responds with a 106. The first time the NABU responds with a 106, because that's usually the network adapter saying I'm okay. And this is the um, the NA now saying or the NPC now saying I'm okay. So then we can send the data, and then we escape every byte, like we mentioned in yesterday's video. So we escape every 0x10 bytes um, by sending a second one. And then when we're done, we get ourselves out of data mode into uh, communication mode. And then we say, yeah, yeah, everything should be sent. And then we write, um, and everything is okay. Now, what's interesting about this now is we can actually upload a program, but the program we have obviously is uh, the wrong execution address, but we're gonna change that later. I just don't have time today. So let's really quickly, or probably later I will have time, but not right now. Um, so I'm gonna select my file and we'll connect. So the NABU is just waiting for communication right now. So it's talking back and forth and now we're sending the file and you can see here, don't worry about the adapter failure. It's because we were chatting while it was trying to load. Their, uh, their code doesn't clear the screen when there's error messages. Okay, so once this is done, you're gonna find something new and exciting at the end of the communication. We're gonna get some new communication we get back an 83, an 82, and a 1. So those are that's good because we've never gotten that before. And according to the uh, communication, that means we are done and we're executing the file. And look what happened. Now, this is because the program that we're loading, the execution address is incorrect. So this is not an actual real program that we can execute. But there is stuff. As you can tell, there was some stuff on the screen happening. Um, it is trying to run a program that's in the wrong spot and it's just put the computer inside of an obviously crazy graphics mode and who knows on a CRT this might actually make some some issues but because who knows what kind of resolution it's trying to do and there's overscan and it's all bonkers but anyway ignore that because what that means is we can actually send data to the NABU now over the network adapter so I'm gonna publish a lot of this stuff tonight onto GitHub or tomorrow. I got some, you know, real work to do today too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is a uh, thumbs up. This is super good.